uh, as you mentioned, and as probably a lot of people know, there were four shows in four days here in Philadelphia the last week. Uh, we had uh, was a War of the Worlds, uh, Ring of Honor, New Japan joint show here in Philly. Those were two wins. Then the next two nights, it was uh, NXT Live, I guess I think they're calling it, uh, their house shows at the Tower Theater here in Philly. Uh, I was able to make three of the four shows, three consecutive days, and it was a ton of fun. I mean, the Ring of Honor show, I got to see Shinsuke Nakamura in person, which is just an honor. People Seeing people like Shinsuke Nakamura and Tanahashi and Watanabe and Nato, guys who rarely come over to the side of the, to the hemisphere to wrestle, and you see them, it's just, it's just an honor and a privilege to see those guys perform in person. And in the next two nights, you see, or I saw... Uh, NXT and it's I mean man that those crowds were so hot for NXT mm. uh, and it's such a, ref, a refreshing type of show when you see uh, people like Enzo and Cass out there and they just they started both shows they opened both shows and just they just made the crowds just red hot I mean they just had the crowd in the palm in their hands uh, those guys are going to be instant money when they go up to the main roster to see the, the women not the divas necessarily but the women on NXT uh, get main spots but they headline the first show. And the second show, I think they were the semi-main and, and a great match. They got a standing ovation from the fans. And then, of course, you got this, you know the big names like Kevin Owens and, and Finn Balor tearing down the house in, in the second show. I mean, like I said, just three great shows, three hot crowds. And it only happens you know, in a city like Philly because the, each show made money. It wasn't like there was a scarce crowd at one show. All those shows were either sold out or close to sold out. And it's a, wow. it's a great atmosphere at all three shows. That's I, I also I also think that it's really cool from the fact that it's the NXT shows in particular because they were in Philly. Uh, you know, Philly obviously being notoriously a, 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 a hard to impress sometimes wrestling crowd. You got to really, you know, impress them. And it seemed like, especially with the uh, the women main eventing on the, uh, on the first night with Charlotte and Sasha Banks. And it seemed to receive very positive reviews from, from all that all that were there. Yeah, I mean, I, it, I don't think really that many people batted an eye at it because it's just like it's NXT and they're presented in a great light anyway. They're not, they don't look out of place in, in a semi-main event like where, on Raw. If Like last night on Raw, Monday night, where the last match was a Divas match and everybody was going, oh, you know, the last match was a Divas match. But NXT, that's just like an everyday thing where – Right. Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Bailey, they could be either in the main event or the closing segment. I think the other week they had the contract signing for Sasha Banks and Bailey close the show. So you can have that in NXT and it's nothing that major. I mean, they kind of made a big deal out of it, but to me, it's not that big of a deal because it's NXT and they're, just, they're, they're big stars down there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's awesome to see that, definitely. Uh, yeah. So, Vaughn, uh, tell me if there's a, uh, is there like a singular performer or was there a singular match that stood out to you over those three days that you were like oh my gosh that guy right there or that girl right there uh, i don't know if there's a singular person that, that really stood out i mean everybody's so talented especially on nxt and even the ring of honor and the new japan shows that everybody's really talented uh i mean those some good matches all around i mean i think the main event between kevin owen and the two of nxt was really really good I thought the Charlotte Sasha Banks match the night one was really good. Uh, I enjoyed the uh, the main event of the Ring of Honor New Japan show the night two where they had uh, I think it was Young Bucks AJ Styles versus uh, the Kingdom and there was uh, Adam Cole's return to Ring of Honor. And that was a pretty hot match. So not not really one thing that stuck out that stuck out. Maybe one thing that stuck out to me was just how hot the crowds were for the NXT shows. I don't know if it was just the acoustics in there. But those crowds were mm. loud those two nights, especially that first night. They were really loud. Some of the loudest I've ever heard for a wrestling show that had less than 10,000 people. You know, it was just really loud, a little raucous atmosphere. And it was really cool. Did it seem, uh, being there uh, those few nights, Did you, maybe you didn't see it so much on the NXT uh, dates because there was probably just a lot of people filling in because they added that date after, right? Yeah, I think the second, maybe, I forget which show they added. The second show was the uh, was when they added. The mm-hmm. first show was supposed to be the Thursday show. That was supposed to be the only show, I believe. Mm-hmm. But they added the Friday show after that. So mm-hmm. uh, both crowds are healthy. I don't, you know, I don't know yeah, the yeah. exact attendance figures. I've, I've asked. I haven't gotten them necessarily, but uh, did, they were really good crowds. And, I don't, and I don't know where you were if the crowd was maybe too dense to notice. But did you notice a lot of crossover and fans from the ROH night to your NXT nights? Uh, 
I, I'm for sure there was. Mm-hmm. I personally didn't notice. I mean, I'm I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was somebody who went four for four, mm-hmm. <laughs> did all the shows. But uh, you know, I'm I'm like I said, I'm certain there was. I just personally didn't notice it. I, I don't know. It was all four crowds were. I, I would I would suffice to say that the NXT crowds were hotter than the Ring of Honor New Japan crowds, which I was surprised by because nice. those Ring of Honor crowds were are, are usually really hot. Especially when they're at the 2300 Arena, which is formerly the ECW Arena. Mm-hmm. So, whatever show was there, it's going to be a hot show because people are just happy to be at the.